from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we're traveling to the other side of the globe, where we'll be sharing our adventures while we're on a safari and vacationing in the Limpopo province of South Africa. You know, how this trip to Africa first came about, when we got back from New Zealand, I told Angel, I said, you know, where, where do we want to go next? We talked about South America, we talked about Africa, and we never really settled on anything. And uh, we were at the Castro Kids Foundation, big gala. We've gone to this event a couple years, we supported Castro for a long time, and an auction item came up, world-class fishing and hunting. Michael Spudweb, I've known Spud for a long time. A hunt had been donated by him and Coochie Safaris in Africa for a plains game hunt. Five day hunt, some animals, I mean, you see these hunts all the time. And I just kept looking at it and I kept flipping through the brochure and I thought, I'm gonna bid on this hunt. If I win this bid, it's time for us to go to Africa. And sure enough, I outbid everybody and uh, was able to support a great organization and cast that I believe in and started making plans to go to Africa. You know, one of the neatest things about planning this trip was looking at the opportunities. You know, my personal list was very long. Probably a dozen animals in the Plains game species that I would love to harvest someday. And, and I, I had them all on my opportunity list here, knowing I wouldn't encounter them, knowing I probably wouldn't even see some of them because they may not be specific to this area. But in reality, my, my biggest deal was I wanted Angel to have a great time. I wanted Pat to have a great time. I wanted Kevin and Shelly to, to be able to hunt together and experience it, and Tanya and Steve to come to Africa and enjoy it. And it was so fulfilling to work with, you know, the organizations that I work with to set this trip up. You know, world-class fishing and hunting, you know, Spud Webb, I've known him for a while, and Coos and his team here at Coochie Safaris. I laid out a menu, understanding and knowing that all of it might not happen, but this is what we wanted, and that's what you want to do when you plan a trip like this. You want to lay it out as deep and as long as you can so that everybody goes away from this trip not only fulfilled, it was worth their time, but that they want to come back. For the duration of their stay, our team will settle into Camp Faro with Coochie Safaris on a property that covers 85,000 square miles of game-rich bushveld area. Well, Coochie Safari started off as a dream, a long-time dream. The word Kuchi is a Swahili word which I learned from my time when I worked for Interpol up in Africa in Malawi, which means to be busy and happy for the whole day. And that's what we try to give. We've actually uh, been in business for 10 years, quite a fast growing business. Uh, we're very, very blessed from above on our business. We try to do things a little different and uh, I try to create a, a typical unicorn, if you can say, in the hunting world and I think we are on our way to getting that right. We offer hunts throughout South Africa, whatever the client's needs are. Um, this is basically like a one-stop shop. We hunt majority in the Limpopo province where we have some of the best hunting areas around available, you know. We are fortunate due to the size of hunting land that we have available that we don't have to participate in buying animals and releasing them for hunting purposes and stuff like that. Whatever you desire, it's here basically. You can walk and stalk, hunt off a truck, hunt out of blinds, whatever fits the client best. This lodge is beautiful and amazing. Everyone has their own little cabin. The service around here, they just totally take care of us completely. From special meals prepared, to whatever we need, they're immediately there to take care of our needs. It's a beautiful experience and I would definitely come back here over and over again. We run our business on an 80 to 85 percent return client base and uh, I want people just to come and have fun, you know. It's not always about the animal size and trophy, it's uh, about the greater experience, coming here to see and experience, you know, what, what South Africa has to offer. To plan your one-of-a-kind African safari, visit coochie.co.za or worldclassfishingandhunting.com. 
you know, travel to and from any destination, I mean, you got to get there. Uh, it was a 15 to 17 hour flight on Delta, got us in here. We got into Johannesburg, filling out our paperwork was very easy. The girls did some shopping, you know, Angel bought her little stuffed animals that she takes everywhere. We got on a bus, we got here, uh, got stuck driving in. That was always fun. I mean, it's not a hunting trip till somebody gets stuck. Got in the lodge really late. It's like midnight with all of our travels and everything. Day one was kind of set up as a slow day to where we could relax and get up. And then we, you know, we were able to start kind of getting lined up on the hunting side of it. We started sighting in our rifles. We started getting gear ready. Uh, we took Shelly down to the range because she hadn't shot a gun in a long time. And her dream was to come here and harvest her first animal uh, in Africa, which is, I mean, that's just about as cool as it can get. And so as that slow day began to unwind and we ate lunch, we got to start getting ready to go out on safari. Well, the action is just getting started here with Coochie Safaris. While Shelly brushes up on her shooting skills and the rest of the crew stays behind to enjoy the scenery, Steve Nessel and Wade are heading out to experience their first African safari hunt. So stay tuned. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot? with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero. Leave the guesswork behind. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. For their first evening of hunting in the African bush, Wade and Steve are joined by our trusty cameraman, Kevin, and Wade's father-in-law, Pat, eager to take in every sight and sound as they cruise through the area. The first day of hunting was uh, what, what, what the people in camp called a slow day. So we got out in the afternoon and, and went out with an idea of what we saw and kind of make a game plan from there based on the animals. Didn't really know what to expect first time out. And so when we went into the bush the first afternoon, it still was kind of wide open. What are we going to see? How are we going to hunt them? What are we going to have to go through to actually get a good shot on them? Alrighty, I just want you guys to stay directly behind me okay. as we go and get a pretty cool close shot, I guess. Okay. See if we see something. That first evening, it became apparent pretty quickly that this was not going to be the African hunting I assumed it would be. I had some expectations coming in, and it ended up far exceeding those as far as uh, the quality of hunting and how hard it can be to hunt these animals. Almost immediately into their stalking, the group has stumbled upon an impressively sized heart beast. So, get yourself ready. Take a couple of sticks. Get the feel of them if you want to go left and right. Push on the back end and just hold the front exactly like that. All right. Just hold it there. That's further than it looks to. Yeah, I dialed up the scope a little bit. That's about 200. <laughs> 300, actually. That's further than it looks. I just ranged it. There's a calf on the right. I see it. They're both in there now. That's further than we want to take a shot right now. As Dale continues leading our team through the bush, a large kudu bull is spotted with several kudu cows in the distance. Nope. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. Oh, I had these bushes right in the middle. I tried, I tried to raise it up a little bit when I did that, he moved. That's all right. Sorry about that. I'd rather Sorry be that. comfortable. Don't, don't take a risky shot. At the end of the evening, as we're cruising around at the edge of, a, of, of what's the first really open field I've seen in several hours, Dale, our PH, looks over the corner and says, there's a warthog. That is a giant. 
guardian. These two white things inside of the tusks. Where I shut it? Right under the nose, you see, right under the nose. Between the tusks? Yeah, just right under the nose. Can you see the nose or not? No. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, the task of tracking this wild warthog begins. There it is. Just be ready. Yep. It's lying in a strange way. What's that? Lying in a little bit of a strange way. Nope, done. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very well much. Done. That's awesome. Good shot. What a first uh, little venture out on a safari in Africa. I don't even know where to start. I mean, we saw a heart of beast, ran into a couple of monster kudu. We've been cruising around for a better part of an hour or two and got off and got on foot and all of a sudden animals again everywhere. And luckily, off to my left, I think probably the pH is right at that point, there was a, a couple of big tusks sitting on the edge of the woods. Then I was told where to put the shot. Luckily I did as I was told. Um, here he is, what a cool experience and a great, great way to start this Africa trip. Congratulations, Steve, on harvesting the first animal of this African safari adventure. When we come back, Steve goes out in search of one of the animals he's always dreamed of hunting, the blue wildebeest. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra-quiet and smooth 850-class twin-cylinder engine. And next-level versatility with a 600-pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense. Walkers, protect it or lose it. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. Not only is this next hunt special to Steve because of the chance to possibly encounter an animal he's dreamed of hunting, but also because his wife, Tanya, is joining him on a hunt for the very first time. I was excited for it because I wanted her to see the animals we'd been seeing just in general. So we go out and we're cruising around and almost immediately, Dale freaks out. And when Dale freaked out, it was a good thing. We were moving and he basically looked at me and Wade and said, you two, let's go. And we jumped out of the truck and he yelled at Kristoff just to keep rolling, just to keep driving the truck, keep going, because we evidently we had a job to do. As it was the case with Dale most times, I hadn't even seen this thing yet, hadn't put eyes on it, but he already has the sticks up, he's already got me in a clearing, and he's ready for me to go. Right through that clearing there, okay? Just through that clearing there. Yeah. Okay, just be ready. Can you see that too? No. He's gonna walk into the clearing, he's not there yet. Okay. Just be ready in that clearing. Okay, that's fine. 
Yeah. Just one. Come here. Come quick. Come quick. I'm glad the wildebeest didn't stop in that one clearing because I was taken aback. I was so impressed by the animal in the moment that I'm glad he gave me a second opportunity to really catch my breath. Good, take your time. Here he comes. I'm gonna stop him right in the clearing for you. Are you ready? Yeah. He's relaxed. He does not know about us. Okay, reload. Right there, right there. Get on him. Okay. Take him again. Right behind the shoulder. Okay. Tough animals. Oh yeah, no. So, is he down? No, uh, he's still going. He's still up. Did I hit him the second time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looked pretty good. Second one hit hard. So I couldn't tell on either shot. I felt like I put it on a good spot. I just couldn't. I mean, when I can't. It's a wildebeest. <laughs> it's a wildebeest. <laughs> With the wildebeest down, Steve brings Tanya and Pat along on the tracking portion of the hunt to share this experience together. He's excited for them to see firsthand how intricate and precise the movements of the pH and trackers are when recovering an animal. That's a big bull. <laughs> that looks like a pretty dead wildebeest to me. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this. <laughs> That's where he's stumbling around in here. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, what a bull. I heard rumors that they uh, don't like to go down, but I just watched it in real life. As this guy took three shots. One of them, okay. Two of them, I think, really pretty good. Um, but you could tell as he was from the sign and just watching him at the end. He, uh, he's tough. First one I've seen. And to stumble on a matrub. Matrubal like this is uh, blessed, definitely blessed as I have been this trip. And this guy's the first one that shows himself. <laughs> we'll go ahead and take that. Congratulations, Steve, on yet another impressive harvest here in Africa. Coming up, Shelly Gieske ventures out on the first hunt of her life. Feed your need for speed. The Nitro XRT unleashes speeds up to 470 feet per second, producing 25% flatter aero trajectory, resulting in knock-breaking accuracy and unprecedented knockdown power. The world has never seen a crossbow this fast, accurate, and compact. The Nitro XRT from Tenpoint. For those with an insatiable desire to pursue all Mother Nature has to offer, Thompson Center delivers the ultimate in versatility with the interchangeable TC Encore Pro Hunter, giving shooters over 50 configurations including handgun, rifle, shotgun, and muzzleloader. The TC Encore Pro Hunter, one gun to chase all your dreams. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras. Proven. High Vis Shooting Systems. See what you've been missing. Before catching up with Shelly, let's see what attractions she and the rest of the group have visited, showing how a safari trip isn't just about hunting. Africa is amazing. I had no idea how amazing it was going to be until I got here. We went to go see the elephants. It was cool to feed them, sit there and hug them. You know, they let you do all kinds of things with the elephants. They educated us about elephants, showed us what they were capable of doing, how they handle them, how they behave in the wild. And then at the end, to top it off, we actually got to ride elephants. We did the sanctuary. It's almost like a zoo, but local species from Africa. It was really, really neat. Then we went to the predator park. We got to get around some uh, four-month-old tiger cubs, scratch their nose a little bit and talk to them. That was, that was good. 
We also had spa day. It was probably one of the nicest spas I've ever been to before. Until this trip, I felt like I might have been to some nice spas, but this was an amazing spa, and we spent the day there just relaxing and enjoying. It was nice because the main thing that I did was unplug. I felt like it was the first time that I really got away from any electronics of any sort and just was one-on-one -on -one with nature, really. I mean, it was awesome. I'm not a hunter. I've been around it my entire life in some form or fashion, but I've never actually hunted myself. So as we're planning this trip, Wade said, we're gonna take you there and you're gonna be able to hunt. So I kind of started getting excited about that idea and uh, was looking forward to seeing all the animals that South Africa had and having that opportunity to actually hunt myself. We went out looking for whatever and several Impala came through. And I think the first time that there was an Impala that I could have taken by the time it positioned itself, I wasn't ready and I, everything was just going a little too slow. So it wasn't meant to be. So we sat longer and another Impala came. The PH was super patient with me and told me exactly where to place the shot. Okay, you see that black spot in his chest here? Shoot him right in that black spot. Yeah. You're ready. You can take him. Oh god. Oh my god. Is that okay? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Is that an awful shot? No. It's a good shot. Is it? Okay. Good shot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Well Are you okay? Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> her first anything. Her yeah. first animal. First animal. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Very right? good. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a good morning. Started off early this morning and sat for a few hours. Had some impalas come in at first. We couldn't get a nice shot on them. And this old one came in with a few younger males. You can see it's a nice old male. His tips are starting to wear down. He's got a lot of character on the horns here. Very old male. As you can see, they are also in rut now, fighting. He's got a gash here under his eye. Um, so, but it's a very nice male. Very good animal, congratulations. Thank you, well thank done. you for being so patient with me. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Very awesome. well done. Yeah, that was beautiful. I never thought I would have a trophy from Africa, especially as my very first animal ever. I think the kids are gonna be excited to see the Impala and to actually have something in the collection of all of Kevin and Emily's animals that's actually mine. It's amazing that I had to come all the way to South Africa <laughs> to um, have my first trophy animal. So I think it's gonna be super exciting for all of them. A huge congratulations, Shelly, for bringing home your first ever trophy and for doing it on an African safari, no less. We're not done with Africa yet. For nearly 30 years, Wade has had his heart set on harvesting the legendary kudu in its homeland. Next week, we'll see if he gets his chance to take one of these majestic animals or if the kudu will live up to its name as the legendary Grey Ghost of Africa. Hey, thank you for watching and join us next week on a new episode of Americana Outdoors. Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. For precise prescription eyewear, Wiley X knows there's no room for error. We meticulously craft our own prescription lenses to fit our high wrap frames. And our ANSI safety rated lenses are tested to uncompromising standards. Nothing 
but precise. Because precision is everything. Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. Smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. Nobody likes crawling, creepy, or flying bugs. So ward them off with Sawyer Permethrin. It's more than a repellent. This odorless spray repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started. That there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills we have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. Protect it or lose it. 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 Protect it or lose it.